going to Pokemon Stadium 2. <clears throat> this is going to be a button check. Looks like Rex is the one that's been uh, requesting the button checks. I mean, he's, it. he's good to do that, of course. Although the thing is, like, it is good to do that. At the same time, every single monitor in this, uh, well, some of them are different. But he already played on this. He, he should know, He should know, He should be adjusted to the monitor. Yeah, sometimes it's not even the monitor. Sometimes it's like, oh, did someone mess up my name or something like That's that on true. attack? But uh, I, 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 not not bad to check for sure. One of the big stories I heard was that Esam he or Light requested the button check against Esam at Genesis Top Eight, and then uh, Esam said no. But it turned out that Esam's controls were wrong. <laughs> So uh, if he yeah. had, so if he had said yes to the button check, he would have realized that and would have had time to fix it. But uh, he had to play through game one and two, not realizing he had wrong controls. Dang, dude, that's karma, dude. Yeah, and you, you know, you know, Esam was probably like, "I'm not gonna let you have your button check just because you want a button check." <laughs> like, yeah. like it, it really didn't hurt him at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> but it ended up hurting him longer in the long run because that's he what got denied. But we'll we'll see here, and we're gonna start off and. Uh, We'll see, yeah, so two of the original cast from Smash 64, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see. And we're actually not going to be uh, at Starter Stadium this time around. Town and City is going to be our battlefield. I feel like Master Mario knows, he's like, okay, I know Link likes to kill very early, so I'm not going to a low ceiling stage by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, definitely a good call from Master Mario right here, and he's getting these up airs off the platform. Three, four, into the up B. Lands right on top of the bomb, though. Rex, good recognition to detonate it right away. Yep, the bomb will explode after a certain yeah. amount of time, but I mean, it's just good to get that little extra damage if you need it. Oh, okay, that was so smart from Rex. He actually uh, committed to the up B knowing it wasn't quite as safe, but he had that contingency plan with the returning boomerang to stop Master Mario in his tracks. Yep. You'll see a lot of uh, people, they talk about with Richter, you want that cross out, and Link, you want that boomerang out to defend yourself so you can commit to those uh, high uh, frame data uh, for sure. Uh, the slower, the yeah. slower moves for sure. Yeah. All right, 90% already on Master Mario's second stock. He finds a grab though, he's just gonna toss him off stage. All right, Lower not gonna clear oh. by the fireball. Okay, he's back. Master Mario really like pulling the trigger on all these up smashes. It looks like he's maybe getting kind of desperate for this kill now. Yeah, I mean Mario is typical for him to really find. He can get really ridiculously early kills, but he doesn't find them, and he has to rely on a read like up smash or something like that. And against yeah. Rex, he's doing a good job of keeping his opponent away, making sure he doesn't get what he needs. The back throw is still not going to do it on this stage either. Speaking of which, I, I did see Master Mario uh, tweet like last night or something that he had so many reads in uh, a match that he played, but he there's a dead zone on Mario's up smash now. I have yet to see it, but let's see if we can see it here. Down to two stocks of beast, but Master Mario trailing by a lot right now. 134% on this second stock. Yeah, but if he gets a platform combo, that's going to be very scary for Rex oh. to deal with. If he can get that up throw or that rising up there out of shield to potentially get the combo, but the platforms are gone, that gives Rex a really big opportunity to really go in and not have to worry about those oh. reverse. So he's oh. not going to die to something like this. He's just going to have to extend to there and then up B. That's enough. Yeah, absolutely. Landing right in uh, Rex's zone and was able to throw out the hero spin uh, for that really safe insurance. 105% now on his second stock. Master Mario is still able to bring this back. He's playing really well. Just uh, Rex is also playing it uh, well on, on his own. Yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of, I think that Rex is understanding the spacing that Mario wants to be in better. Yeah. And so he's using those up tilts, using that back airs, the neutral air, just keeping him outside of his zone. Of course, Mario still has that struggle of not quite finding the space that he wants to be in, and he can use those boomerangs and arrows to negate Fireball, which is one of his big approach options, too. So it makes it difficult for him to come in, gets that extra damage with the boomerang, he's off stage. Oh my god, dude, the F tilt just shaking the screen. It is so strong. And maybe that's what he was talking about right there. That up smash was so close to hitting, but it really just looked like he was outside of the range. 150% still on Rex's stock. And just as I say it, the up smash finally connecting for Master Mario. How's he going to make this comeback happen, though? 92% to make up here. Oh, pick up the arrow. Oh, the Nair. I think a shield poke right there. Either that or Master Mario is trying to find a parry. It doesn't quite work. The setup into the spin attack. Love it. 
Again, air dodging through. Rex may get the read on that third time because it looks like Master Mario's getting the same air dodge. Time he makes up all the fair dollar doing. Yeah, a really good call from Rex. I mean, you know, he knew Master Mario was trying, uh, jumping a lot in the neutral, trying to uh, catch Rex off guard with the landing aerials, the landing up airs into up tilts, um, possibly catching a shield poke or a shield drop. But Rex just recognizing that and uh, meeting him air to air with his forward air. Yeah. Master Mario got Stop the battle. Okay, talk to him. <laughs> okay. Best of three. Quarters finals after all. So. I, lo I love it when people like talk to the commentators and it's like, I don't know, dude. Dude, it was me and Danny were commentating at uh, Heart of Battle and someone legit just came up like right here. They were like, I was like, I don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have no clue, dude. Anyways, game number two. This time we will see Pokemon Stadium. And uh, yeah. I mean, this is one of the big stages where Master Mario is able to get the up air yeah. change into the ladder, into the up beat. Yeah, especially with the lower top last zone, he's able to get those much earlier. There's a landing up air into a grab, going to net Master Mario some big damage. Oh, oh yeah, and he's boy. getting those pick up up airs that he wants, and I thought that was a really bad decision going into the direction of air dodge on the platform. That was a big opportunity for Master Mario, but he didn't quite capitalize it on it, so maybe that was a smart decision overall from Rex. Maybe Master Mario wasn't quite expecting that. Okay, and I mean, it's so hard for Master Mario to really get like a, a strong edge guard on Rex because Rex is doing a really good job of using his projectiles as he's returning to the stage to uh, provide himself a little bit of extra safety. Master Mario looking for an edge guard as well. The bomb is in the way though, and that's what I'm talking about. Rex using really good counterplay to avoid these edge guards. I like what he did there. He used the fire property uh, from the fireball to yeah, make the bomb. And yep, you're kind of a sitting duck if your neutral air doesn't land. That's a free up smash for Master Mario. All right, and this is the first lead I've seen Master Mario have this set. 135% on his first stock. That's a lot of rage for Mario to work with, but he's not going to get to use any of it as Rex gets that forward tilt by the ledge and taking that first stock. That was very smart bomb placement. He down threw it, and again, like I said before, the bomb has four bounces, and it has a constant hitbox until it's used up on one of the hitboxes, and then he was able to cover roll very easily. That bomb bounce covers every ledge option except uh, stay on and, uh, and roll. So very smart for him to be able to cover that. All right, Nair to grab. What a beautiful conversion there for uh, Rex. I wish players would just uh, input their tag as the tag that they like enter oh, on yeah. Smash GGs. Oh, he make, wants to know make, your, he, he make wants my you life to know that, He wants you to know your name's David. His name is David. <laughs> yeah, David. But, but now I want to call him David. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Just taking him off the top, oh, and David is gone. <laughs> hello. That's why. That's why we don't call you David, bro. <laughs> 130% on Master Mario. He's making quick work of the second, uh, very last stock that Rex has. Definitely an entirely different game than what we last saw. Yep. Very smart for Master Mario. He knew that once he shielded the hero spin, there was only one hitbox on that. So you can pretty much catch him like a sitting dog and get a grab and whatever you need. Oh, the forward smash. Now it's looking like Rex is the desperate one to try and get the kill right here. And Master Mario is not having any of it. Taking him off the top another ladder. Oh my god, 130%. 82%. Onto him. He's always spot dodging after this Nair, so he, Master Mario went for the immediate grab this time, expecting maybe he won't do it this time, but nope, in fact, he will. Yeah. I mean, Nair on shield is one of the best mix ups that Link has. Oh, great edge guard. Yeah, but you can do like Nair to spot dodge, Nair to dash forward, to catch a roll, and stuff like that, and it just makes it so difficult to find the mix up game on Link sometimes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, and Rex working on this comeback, 98% now. Master Mario not giving him any room to breathe though. Up smash, catch that landing, and surely gonna send a message to Rex. Oh, oh wow, he carried oh. the bomb explosion. But again, Link or Rex showing that Link Tech, you know, very discovered very early on that you can detonate yourself and make it back to the stage just fine. Yeah, similar to how Snake does it with the C4. Right. Uh, very same, like actually the same inputs. <laughs> oh, this is so oh. scary. All of a sudden, one force smash, and that's going to be it if Rex can find it. Oh. And he's keeping up the juggles. Oh, able to land on him with the back here. That was so crucial. I don't think Master Mario had a, uh, another jump to mix up his uh, landing with. So. Oh, ho, ho. all right. Catching the roll into the stage with a back air. Master Mario positioning himself at the ledge beautifully to get that punish and taking game number two. Going to go down to. Our very last game.
Yeah, that was starting to get scary. I saw Rex yeah. climbing on the percents. And you saw he even did try to do the reverse hero spin at the ledge because he can try to go in for the edge guard and he you know stays properly. He gets sucked in and he gets sent off the other side. But Master Mario played it safe, knew that his time would come. He got the bear at the ledge and you know, his less traffic was one of the less in Smash 4 too, and it works here. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is game number three of this winner's quarters match between Master Mario and Rex. We're going to Kalos Pokemon League as our last change of scenery. It's a wider stage, so it allows for the projectiles to cover a little bit more room and link a little bit more to breathe. And also, the ceiling's higher than Stadium 2, so the ladder's not going to be quite as dangerous. But we'll have to see how this works out, because Mario can still get some dangerous stuff on this uh, stage. Like right there, using the Nair, chasing with the tech chase, but not able to find it. All right, air dodging back to the ledge, making his way back to safety. Landing with the fireball into the up airs, only able to get one or two. Oh, no. Oh no, he's gone! He's gone! He had no jump. He had ha already burned it to try to get that up B back to the ledge. And Rex with a proper punish. That bomb at the ledge is so strong. I mean, if you can put it there and detonate it, you can catch a two frame or just straight up the explosion hitbox catching the opponent before they even touch the ledge. Yeah. And we saw Master Mario with a little bit of matchup and item play knowledge. He used the Z-Drop aerials himself and he was able to get a conversion and put him at the ledge. But he's kind of stuck off stage one more time. He's got to try to find his footing before Rex gets a lead. And just like that, he'll use the back air just the way, just the way he used the, yeah. the win on game To win two. game number two, exactly. And I like the way he's doing it. That's a neutral air, no jump. And the snipe with the arrow, he's gone again. Oh no, he uses the wall jump to make it back this time. Really well played by Master Mario. Yeah, but the bomb again, the explosion just catches him before he can make back to the stage. But he picks him up with the up airs and he gets a grab. The up throw into the dare. Down throw, another grab right here. This is big damage on the platform as well off the top. This ceiling is too big. He's not going to be able to get those stocks, but still the mental damage is done. He's trying to make it back with bomb in hand. How's he going to be able to do it? Oh, okay, he uses the item toss to try and catch him off guard. And he gets a dare to cover himself as well. Right, trying to get these fireball approaches. He finds another grab. Uh, Rex sitting in shield a little bit too much. And I like the way uh, Master Mario's positioning stuff right there. He's, he's uh, standing at basically roll uh, distance and kind of jumping up and down to see what uh, Rex is going to do. And at that point, he can really react. He reacts to the roll on. He got him with the up smash. Uh, and these other times, he's fading back to like. Think, force his opponent to think he's he, they're safe to get back on. He's just hitting him with the back there. 127 percent now on Master Mario. Yeah, Rex has got juggled to 60 percent though. This is a really big opportunity oh, for boy. Master Mario to get really get a comfortable spot himself. I don't know if oh, he, he's burned his Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Oh my god, dude! These snipes coming out from Rex are so expertly. He's a sharpshooter, man. He's just, this is definitely MLG right now. Oh, reverse up air. Not able to follow up on it. Oh, and both of them getting kind of caught in their hitboxes. All of a sudden, Rex trying to bring this back with the fireball, defend himself, and he gets a ladder combo. All right, aggressive down air. I like it. Forcing a mix up on his landing and uh, getting the hit in. Yeah, you saw Master Mario just do a pseudo wave dash to try and land. It's kind of worked out. But, oh, the fan puts him off stage. Another bad position. Uses up his jump. He's going to catch it with the oh, Nair. The directional air launch into the F tilt, and Rex takes it over Master Mario. What an incredibly tight set, man. Master Mario not looking too happy about that, knowing that that directional air dodge was maybe a little bit too preemptive.